A Hair Raising Tale by Radmi Laraswati. Both and my husband and I work in the food delivery business. I don't normally work after 7 p.m. as my night vision's terrible. I'm as blind as a bat. So only my husband will work after 7 p.m. and occasionally he works after 10. This weird incident occurred recently. I was at home preparing dinner when I received a call from my husband saying he would be back very soon, which was just before 9 p.m. I caught a breath of uneasiness in his voice and thought that perhaps his toothache was acting up again. He came home barely half an hour later. After washing his feet and face, he shared his weird encounter with me. He had just dropped off an order at a condominium around Hindi Road, Bukit Drive. He decided to take a quick cigarette break and lit up along the quiet stretch of road while waiting for his next order. As he was standing alongside his motorbike, something caught his attention. It was large, black, smoky and fuzzy. A messy, hair-like thing that tumbled beside him as if it was caught in a breeze. All this while, the air was very still. There wasn't even the familiar chirping sound of crickets. And there was definitely no sign of wind. It was a hot and humid night. This happened just after Maghrib, the Muslim evening call of prayer time, just a couple of minutes after seven. His hair stood on end. Whatever the thing was, it slowed down and disappeared when he muttered fiercely under his breath. Do not disturb me. I am earning a living for my family. I don't disturb you. You don't come and disturb me. He went off after that thing disappeared, trying not to think of what he just saw as he received an order for his next delivery. This time round, he had to make his way to a HDB flat in Jurong East. The story gets even weirder there. The HDB block was long and curved. He stood at the extreme end of the block, parking his bike there before walking to the lift landing that led to the unit. As he was walking, he was once again overcome by an eerie feeling, as if someone was following and watching him. There was a small makeshift storeroom beneath the block close to the lift landing. We assumed that it was for storing some renovation and upgrading equipment, and it was pitch dark. Suddenly, he saw the same ball of black smoky hair appearing out from the storage area, this time rolling right towards him. It was unmistakable. This was the very same big, messy tuft of hair he saw at Inhaded Road, Bukit Drive earlier that evening. He blinks for a second, but he realised that his eyes couldn't be playing tricks on him and it wasn't a windy night at all. So why was this thing rolling closer and closer towards him? But instead of feeling frightened, he became furious and shouted rather loudly, You unholy thing, go back where you came from and stop following me. I'm going to mutter prayers so that you burn. In an instant, the ball of messy hair disappeared into the darkness again. He went about his delivery and walked slowly back to his bike, looking around to see if this hairball was still around. So far, so good. There was nothing in sight as he rode back home. Of course, before entering our house, he muttered some prayers, just in case.